Hello everyone, it's Arthur here from Metro Hobbies. It just feels like yesterday we were here talking about our new Oxygen restock. Well, we should get some more Oxygen in. So, we recently got in the brand new, or technically reissue, Australian Railway E-Cars. They come in a variety of colours, so they come perfectly for the 1930s, 1940s, 1950s, all the way up until about the late 80s, possibly early 90s, depending on what era you model. They come in a variety of paint schemes, so we've got the classic 1950s to the 1980s VR Blue and Gold. We've got the 1940s Crimson Lake, which is still perfect enough for the late 70s. We also brought in, as well, the carriage sets. So this carriage set is the Overland. So this train used to run between Melbourne to Adelaide. Uh, and yeah, so you can expand up to have the whole falling train. This train would be perfect behind a brass A2 class or possibly uh, an H class, something like that. Uh, we also got in as well the brand new Oxygen B classes again. So we've got B65 in the Oxygen models livery. So this would be the early 2000s. Uh, beautiful livery. Uh, love the fact that it's got the streamliner style. Uh, these models are DCC ready, so they require a 21 pin chip to put uh, to put in. And we've also got the Vicarel T cup. So this is B64. Once again, beautiful livery. Uh, it's got the horns, got the see-through mesh. Beautifully painted, it's got everything all picked out. It's even got the proper radio stickers as well. Uh, it's got KD couplers. And yeah, next up, we've also got, once again, the uh, new-ish uh, T-Class. So this is the uh, first series, or what they call as a flat top. Uh, it's got a lot of good details on it. So this one, I think it's got the 19, uh, the more modern bogies instead of the original welded bogies. Uh, it's got the dual Webco AMB chime, uh, painted driver and, driver and fireman, the uh, driver vigilant risers, ex uh, Exhaust, it's radiator fans, MU cables. Uh, once again, it's a 21 pin DCC decoder to be fitted in this one because unfortunately they still don't make it in sound. And we've got the later rebuilds. Uh, so then we've got the P class. Uh, this is just freshly restocked, so you've got everything the, uh, from the dual RVB3 chime setup. You've got the more modern bogey once again. You've actually got the head end generator and the exhaust. Uh, this is in the VLAN Blood and Bone. Once again, it's a 21 pin decoder. You've also got uh, the headlights up in the cab instead of the nose. You've got the headlight located up in the cab and instead of the nose. Beautiful engine, uh, really good for the people who want to model for the 90s, early 2000s, if not Simply just remove it off and make it look like it's uh, part of uh, Southern Short Hill Railroad. Uh, last up on our list is the restock of the motorised and unmotorised W Class trams. So we've got uh, them both in the classic City Circle and the classic Melbourne Metropolitan Tramways board uh, liveries. So the uh, the City Circle one, that one actually has advertisements up on the roof. It's got the trolley poles, which are poseable. Uh, it's got the working headlight, it's got mirrors. Uh, it's got the uh, destination board and the route number all lined up for the City Circle, which is Route 35. And then we've got the classic W basically how it was built during the 19, all the way from the 30s up until even 2013. So we've got, once again, got the trolley poles. It's in that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Melbourne Metropolitan tramway board, uh, wattle uh, and cream. Uh, it's lettered for route number 16. Uh, to be honest, these trams are really good. Uh, if you can... Uh, DCC them because um, you actually have to hardwire the chips into these ones they are actually a really decent model that's all we've got uh, at, the, at the moment we do have a whole lot more in stock 
if you guys want to come in, come down to either the city, Box Hill, or buy online, please do. So, yeah.